All right, listen up, fuckers. Today's objective, cloning and topping. All right, we're gonna go through my preferred method of cloning and topping uh, when we're dealing with seedlings, not uh, mother plants or previously cloned plants. This, uh, this technique works the best, uh, pretty much uh, really good all the time uh, if you do it from seedling. So what we got here is, uh, and I should have taken this uh, video last night, I apologize, I didn't think about it until afterwards, but what I like to do is, I like to take my seedlings and I like to get them nice and tall. Alright, I let them go up uh, one, two, three, four, five, I believe that would be about six nodes is what I had on there yesterday. Alright, you guys can check it out in my veg tent, you know, it was a, it was a nice little plant, you know looking real healthy real good anyways here's what I like to do so like I said I don't top it I don't uh, screw around with the seedling at all I, I let it uh, stretch up and fill out a little bit and then what I do is I come in and I just take about uh, three or four nodes worth of the top off and what I do is I just kinda look down here and what I like to see is where the plant has a natural canopy of its own All right, and that is where I will top the plant because what happens when you top a plant, all right? You, you shock it, you set it back, you know, you stun it a couple of days. So you take your seedling, you top it, you stun it for a couple of days, now you got two tops on it, right? Okay, so it recovers after a week, you top it again, now you got four tops on it, but you stunted it again, all right? And then, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. What we do is uh, we top it once here, early but you know a little bit later you know later than what you would normally do it and from doing that you'll have one two three four five six seven eight eight tops you only stress the plant once all right only one time you're gonna end up with a much nicer plant a nice bigger fuller top canopy of a plant quicker because you haven't stressed it as many times. All right, so when you uh, you stress it to three times and you're stressing it a couple of days each time, that's gonna add up to like a week. Basically, you're getting a week for free by doing it like this. All right, it grows real vigorous at first, so it gets tall quickly, and then you top it once, you, you stress it the one time, and then bam, you end up with plants like this. Exact same technique was done on these. All right, these are the grape gods from inside the flower room. I just pulled them out to show you what's going on. So we got one, two, three, five tops on there, and I only did it once. That one grew just a little bit uneven, but over here we got one, two, three, four, five, six tops from topping it once, all right? I don't know, it's kind of a no-brainer to me. Less stress, it's growing faster. You got uh, more tops quicker, all right? And then here's what you got for your clones. All right, this is what I had taken off of, uh, you know, these plants a couple of weeks ago. You know, these are well beyond what I did last night, but just to give you an idea of what the, the clone looks like after it's uh, rooted and, and taken hold. All right, we don't have a lot of roots in there. I don't know, my, uh, my grape god is notoriously slow at rooting. You know, it's a good plant, it's an excellent strain, super crisply, but it is just, no matter what technique I've ever tried cloning these with, whether it be <coughs> soil, uh, the little peat pellets, uh, the little Rockwell cubes, um, I've had uh, an oxycloner type of setup. No matter what I do, it's always a slow uh, rooter, so it is what it is. But the point being is you take a plant that looks like that, topping it once, and you got a plant that looks like that. That's it. I am out.